forgot to mention you've got your weights there, yeah? Beautiful, good, good. <laughs> Restart back up tall. All right, let's add in a little half lift. So we come all the way down, lift up halfway, straightening out the spine. Relax down, restart back up tall, arms up and overhead. Butterfly the arms down, chin to chest, round the spine, all the way down. Restart back up tall. Half lift in there for three more. Two. And last one. All the way up, reach those arms up and overhead. Then bring them back down to the T. Let's do our side twists. So we twist and twist, looking to the fingertips that go behind. Twist and twist. Twist and twist. If you'd like to add in that pulse, twist, release, and pulse. Twist, release, and pulse. So you're just getting a little bit further into that pulse. For five. Four, three, two, and last ones. Each way. Beautiful. Drop those hands back down by your side. Come to the end of your mat. Chin to chest, round through the spine, reaching those hands down. We're going to walk out into our pike. All right, now from our plank, we're going to drop both heels down towards the mat and then raise up onto the tippy toes. Drop those heels down, raise up onto the tippy toes. Now through our plank, let's think about pushing our chest forward towards our legs so we straighten out through the spine. For five, four, three, two, and last one, gently drop the knees down, untucking the toes into child's pose. Take a stretch. All right, let's lift up onto our hands and knees now. So let's quickly give the wrists a bit of a stretch out first. So tuck the toes, bring the bum back to the heels and forward over the wrists. Just stretching out those wrists for five, four, three, two, and last one. Beautiful, okay, from here, untuck those toes, and we're gonna lift the knees up off the mat, like so. Now, if that's not comfortable and you prefer to keep your toes tucked, feel free to tuck those toes and then lift the knees. For five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, push back to child's pose, take a stretch. Hold for five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, now tuck the toes, walk the hands back, and we're just gonna come to like a, like a crunch down type of position. So feet on the mat, kneeling, over, kneeling down, keeping the knees up off the mat, and just bring your hands down in front. All right, now from here, we're gonna push our bum up to the ceiling. So we lift up, pushing the bum up, and then drop back down. And just, just find that sweet spot with your hands. You may find you need to take them out a little bit further to lift up and drop back down. Lift and drop back down. Lift and drop back down. Beautiful, that's it, keep going here. Lift and drop back down. Lift and drop back down. Three. Two. And last one. All right, coming back down. Okay, now from here, we're gonna do that again, but we're just gonna do a hold. What we're gonna do is think about pushing our weight forward over the wrists. So we lift up, and then we're gonna push our weight forward over the wrists. Like we were gonna kick up to do a handstand. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one, drop back down. 
Let's do that one more time, actually. So when you're ready, lift, bring that body weight forward, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop back down, drop the knees, untuck the toes. Child's pose, take a stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grabbing hold of one of your weights. We're gonna grab that weight in our right hand. And we're gonna do our thread the needles from here, but we're not gonna be resting the arm fully down on the mat, so I'll demonstrate. We lift up, and then we thread just through the middle, so we're not resting that arm down onto the ground. We lift, look up to the ceiling, and thread. Lift, and thread. Lift, and thread. Beautiful, that's it. We've got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. Pop that weight into your left hand. All right, when you're ready, let's go again. Lift and thread. Lift and thread. Lift and thread. Lift and thread. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, push back into child's pose, take a stretch. Roll out those wrists if you need to. All right, weight comes back into our right hand. So hands under our shoulders, knees hip distance apart under our hips. We're going into bird dog from here. So you have the option of either just moving the arm or doing the arm and leg at the same time. So we lift up and back down. Up and back down. Let's really try and point those toes to the wall behind. Lift and lower. So right arm, left leg. Beautiful. Keep going here. For five, four, three, two, and let's turn this into a crunch now. Arm and leg go long and crunch. Back out long. Crunch. Back out long. Crunch. Back out long. Crunch. Back out long. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down. Pop the weight into the left hand. So when you're ready, getting set up again, knees under the hips, hip distance apart, hands under the shoulders. We either lift the arm or the arm and opposite leg. Back to Long, back to Beautiful, keep going here. We've got five, four, Three, two, and our last one, we turn it into a crunch. And crunch, back out long, crunch, back out long, crunch, back out long, elbow to knee, back out long, elbow to knee, back out long. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down. Push into child's pose if you need to have a little rest. Roll out the wrists. Take a breather. All right, we're gonna try and work on our balance today. So, pop the weight to the side for the moment. You can take the option of grabbing it if you'd like to. We're gonna first pop our body weight into our left hand and left knee. Take the right leg long. Now you may find you need to reposition the hands a little bit as you lift the right arm up. So. Right arm, right leg. Now from here we're going to do our side crunch and back out long. 
Now, if you wanted to add in that weight, grab hold of the weight with your right hand and crunch back out long. Beautiful, that's it. Keep going here. Now, if you're kind of opening up through the chest like I am, see if you can start to rotate your body to face back down towards the mat and crunch from there. Whew. Try not to lose your balance. <laughs> Out and in. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Pop the weight into the other hand if you'd like to use it. If not, just pop it down to the side. All right, body weight into the right knee and right hand. Left leg goes long, left arm goes long. From here, crunch. Oh, and try not to fall over. <laughs> and crunch, back out long, crunch, back out long, crunch, back out long. And again, if you're opening up a lot through the chest, which is totally fine here because we were trying to keep that balance, but as you kind of get through it, we're going to start to try and rotate the body down towards the mat. For four, three, two, and one. Drop back down. Give those wrists a little bit of a roll out. Take a breather. Okay. So from here, we're going to come kneeling. We're going to pop our weights into our hands, facing them to the front. We're going to come up, high up on the knees as we bring those arms up. All right, beautiful, that's it. Lift and lock. Lift and lock. All right, in five, we're going to keep going, but we're going to be bringing our arms out to the side as well. Four, three, two, and one. Without stopping, lift, out, in, down. Lift, arms out to the T, in, down. Lift, out, in, down. Lift. Out, in, down. All right, in five. We're going to continue doing this, but we're going to then bring our arms overhead as well. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Don't stop. Lift. Up. Overhead. Down. In front. Back down. So we lift. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So out in front, out to the side, overhead. Five more, we're almost there. Four, three, two, And last one, lift, out, up, down, in front, and down. Whoa, my arms feel like lead. Give them a bit of a shake out, roll out those shoulders. Take a little breather. Whew, all right. Our next exercise is we're going to do our triceps. So you have two options. You can either leave your bum down on your heels or come up. Now, what we want to do here is try and keep our neck in line with our spine. So we don't want to drop our head down like this. We want to look straight forward. We lift the arms up to the ceiling. And we're going to drop them back behind the head. Lift them up. Down, up, down, up. All right, let's keep going here. We've got 20 in total. So 15 left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Coming back down, drop back down. Take a little breather. All right. Bow and arrow time. So first we're gonna hold that weights just down by our side. From our knees to the top of our head is one long straight line here. We're leaning back and then we come back up. Lean back and come back up. Okay, hands are just down by our side. Back and up. All right, we're going to go for another 30 seconds here. 
Have a play around with holding it as well. So we lean back, see if we can hold for a few seconds, and then come back up. Beautiful, that's it, keep going, doing well. Make sure you breathe, try not to hold your breath. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, we're going to lift those arms up in front. We lean back as we do. We bend the elbow in. Open, look to the wall behind. Close, and then come back up. Lean back. Open, close, back up. Lean back. Open. Close, back up. So our gaze is always going to the fingertips as they go behind. So we open up, we're looking back behind, close and back up. Beautiful, keep going here. All right, three more on each side. Beautiful, that's it. And last one to each side until you've evened yourself out. Beautiful, dropping back down. We're going to go into our donkey kick with our weight now. Now, if you're using a hand weight, this will work. Because um, I'm doing a recording, if anyone is at home and they aren't using a hand weight, they're using like a water bottle or a can, it's not going to work. So. Just do it without, okay? You're still going to get a good workout. So we're going to pop that weight in behind our right knee. Bring the hands down to the mat. Now, to grip it in place, we lift the toes up, just so we, we're really holding that weight there. We're going to lift up and then kick at the top, back down. Lift and kick, back down. Lift, kick, back down. Lift and kick, back down. All right, we've got 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, get that kick at the top, five, four, three, two, last one, and dropping back down. All right, let's swap sides. If you're using that weight, pop it into the left leg behind the knee, and we're just going to grip it into place by lifting the foot up off the ground. When you're ready, let's go. Lift and kick, back down. Lift, kick, back down. Lift, kick, back down. Then that kick right at the top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one, dropping back down. If you need to have a little break here, move that weight, push back into your child's pose, take a little breather. Five, four, three, two, and and one. All right, we're gonna do some side work from here. So coming down to whatever side suits you first. So we're gonna begin with our clams. A little bit differently to how we usually do them. So I think we did them these way, this way last week. We come up onto our forearm. We're going to leave our feet on the mat and we're going to grab hold of one or both of our weights. So if you can grab them both in your hand, go for it. Okay, we're going to put, the, put those weights on our outer thigh just above the knee. We're going to need to hold them there with our fingertips, but we're not like kind of grabbing onto them. Just holding them there in place. We open and close. Open and close. Beautiful, that's it. So we've got that extra resistance with our clams. Now, of course, because we're doing big burn, we're going to do this for 60 seconds. So we're at about 50 seconds now. Probably already feeling it, especially if you've got those extra weights on. 20 seconds down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. 
Keep going here, we're halfway, we're over halfway. 20 seconds to go. See if you can open those knees just a little bit wider. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop down, give that glute a bit of a smack if you need to. All right, we're going to take both legs long and do our hip lifts from here. Now, we take that top leg in front. We're going to keep um, our elbow planted into the mat. And if you would like to add that extra resistance, weight or weights come onto the outside of your top thigh. All right, from here, we're going to lift those hips up off the mat and then drop them back down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Now what I want you to try and do here is lightly touch your hips down to the mat and shoot straight back up, okay? So we're not resting, we're just lifting straight up, lightly touch, straight back up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping back down, beautiful work, all right. From here, we're going to do like a side crunch. So we're going to come up onto our knees, keeping that hand down on the mat. Take your opposite leg long. Now, weight or weights, depending on what you feel like is going to work for you today. And you can grab both weights in the one hand if you would like to. Oh, I've got to get my hair out of my face. Okay, from here, we're going to bring our elbow to knee and then take that arm back out long. Elbow to knee, back out long. Elbow to knee, back out long. Now, to make this a bit more challenging, lift the toes up off the mat and keep them there the whole time. So we crunch, back out long, crunch, back out long. Beautiful. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop down. Beautiful. Pop those weights down. Okay, we're going to stay on this side, however. We're not going to use the weights. We're going to bring our hand back down, leg goes long, arm comes up to the ceiling. Now, let's lift that leg up, and we're going to do a big kick forward and kick back. Forward and back. Forward and back. You can allow your torso to move here as you kick forward. You can look towards the toes as you kick back, looking backwards. For five, four, three, two, and one, dropping back down. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. All right, make sure you have a drink if you need to. And then when you're ready, coming over onto the other side. Oh, my mat always uh, moves around. <laughs> so we'll start with our plants. Forearm under the shoulder. Take a nice deep bend in those knees and weight or weights onto the outside of your thigh, just above the knee. From here, leave those heels glued together. We open and close the knees. Open and close. Open and close. So we're doing 60 seconds in total here. Open and close. Open and close. Let's see if we can open those knees just a little bit more. Almost halfway. All right, we've got 30 seconds to go. Breathing through it. Twenty seconds. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one, dropping down. All right, take both legs long. Take the top leg over. Now from here, weight or weights onto the outside of the thigh. And we're gonna lift those hips up and down. So lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Lightly touch the bumps of the mat, shoot straight back up. Lightly touch, shoot straight back up. We've got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
one. That's it. Drop back down. Take a quick little breather, and then we're going to lift up into our crunches. So keeping that hand on the mat, come up onto your knees, grab hold of weight or weights, opposite leg long, arm overhead, and then we think elbow to knee, back out long. Elbow to knee, back out long. And that extra little challenge there is to lift the toes up off the mat. Beautiful. Keep going here. Doing well. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pop the weights down. We're almost done. Bring that hand back down, other arm up to the ceiling. Lift that leg up, and we kick forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. For six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Dropping back down. Take a breather. Roll out those wrists. Whew. All right. We're going to move into some seated work. So when you're ready, we're going to come over onto our bum, lying our back down onto the mat, leaving your feet planted. Take the arms long. This is our start and our end position. So we're going to lift those arms up to the ceiling, chin to chest, sitting up, and then around circles as you come back down. Lift up, sitting up, and then circle those arms around as you come back down. Lift, circle, lift, and circle those arms. Lift, and circle, lift, and circle. So imagine that T-shirt just peeling up off the mat as you lift up and as you come back down, each part of the T-shirt lies back down onto the mat. And circle. Four more in this direction and then we're going to change directions. Three more. Two. And last one. Beautiful, coming back down into your start position. So reversing that now, we circle at the base, chin to chest, sitting up, and then arms go straight back and behind. Circle, sitting up, straight back and behind. Breathing through it. Keep going here. That's it, doing well. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Coming all the way back down, lying your back down, bring your hands back by your side, rock those knees side to side. All right, into our hip bridges. So we're going to lift those arms up to the ceiling. Now what we're going to be doing with the arms is dropping them out to the T and then bringing them back up to centre. Dropping them out to the T, then coming back up to centre. So let's rock, uh, sorry, let's push the light up and roll the hips up. As we do, we drop the arms down to the side. Now as we come back down, we bring the arms back up. So push the light out, hips come up, arms drop. And then coming back down, arms come back up. Keep going here. So we push that line out, roll the hips up, drop the arms out to the T, coming back up as we drop back down. All right, let's start to pick up the pace a little bit. Five. Four, three, two, last one, hold those hips up high. All right, let's bring the hands overhead, continue holding the hips up, squeeze those glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, from here we're going to do heel raises. 
So we're going to lift one heel up at a time, drop it down. Lift the other heel up, drop it down. Lift and lift. If you'd like to try a double heel raise, try lift both heels up at the same time. Keeping those hips up high, squeezing through those glutes. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, push the hips up, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, coming back down. Rock those knees side to side, take a breather again. All right, lifting those arms back up and overhead. We're going to bring our right leg up into tabletop. Now, as we take the, uh, the leg long, we're going to take both arms back behind and then come back up to the top. Long and back. Let's go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swapping legs. Bring the left leg up. Let's keep going. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We're going to bring both legs up into tabletop now. Arms back up. This time, what we're going to do is drop them back out to the T. So, right leg is the only leg we're going to be moving. As the leg goes long, arms come out to the side, back to centre. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swap legs. Breathing through it. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breather if you need. Rock those knees. All right. So for our next one, we're going to push the back of the waistband down. Lift both legs up into tabletop. Arms come up to the ceiling. Now, what we're going to try and do here, probably guess, we're taking both legs long at the same time, arms go back behind. So we go long and then back up to centre. Long, back up to centre. Now, we always want to be pushing the back of the waistband down into the mat. So if you feel like you're starting to arch, just take those legs up a little bit higher when you take them long. And then try and find that sweet spot. So start to slowly drop them down until you find the point where you're going to start to arch the spine. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Drop back down. Ooh, rock those knees. Take a breather. Nice work. All right. Ooh, we're going to come up to a seated position. So just pop those weights down to the side. Grab hold of one or both knees and just rock up into your seated position. All right, we're just going to give the spine a little massage. And we're going to move into a bit of rollover work. So we'll leave the weights to the side for now. First, we're going to start with our rollbacks. So tucking into a ball, you can bring your hands under your knees, over the knees, or down near the ankles. Chin to chest, we roll back. And roll back up. Roll back. Roll back up. Try not to touch the toes to the mat. Roll back. Roll back up. Hover onto those sit bones. For five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Beautiful. Coming back up. All right. We're going to go into a rollback from our teaser position. So when you're ready, bring those arms out in front. We're going to lift the legs up, arms in line with the legs. From here, we throw back, and then we're going to roll back up into teaser. Going back, 
and rolling back up into teaser. Beautiful. We're going to try and hover here. Try not to touch the toes down to the mat. Roll back. Roll back up. Hovering onto the sit bones into teaser. All right. We're going to try and change this into control balance. So next time you roll back, let's try and stay there. So hands drop down to the ground. Legs behind. We're going to grab hold of one ankle with both hands. All right, from here, think about pulling those toes down to the back as you lift the other leg up towards the ceiling. And then we switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. For five, four, three, two. And last one, we're going to roll back up into teaser, take the arms long, release the legs. Roll back down, coming up into teaser. Ooh, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Collapse down. Ooh, rock those knees side to side. Take a little breather. Ooh, my abs are killing me. <laughs> okay, let's sit up into a seated position. So coming on up. All right. We're going to grab hold of our weights and we're going to take both legs long. <sighs> Pointing the toes up to the ceiling. We want to sit up nice and tall here. Bring your hands into your chest. Spine is going to stay nice and straight as we lean back and then come back up. Lean back and back up. Lean back, back up. Keeping that spine straight the whole time. <sighs> back and up. And up for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up and release. Okay, now we're going to add in our take off the hat and dive forward. So, hands into our chest. We lean back, take off the hat, dive forward to the toes, reset. Hands into the weight, straight spine, lean back, straight spine, off with the hat, dive forward, reset. Lean back, straight spine, off with the hat, dive forward. Leaning back, off with the hat, dive forward. Lean back, straight spine, off with the hat, dive forward. Lean back, off with the hat, dive forward. For three, two, and last one, diving forward, place those weights down, let's get into our cool down. So we'll cross the feet over, come over onto the knees, push back into child's pose, taking a nice long stretch through the spine, drop your bum down to your heels, and then we'll hold for five, four, three, two, and one, walking the hands around to the left, staying in that child's pose position. Finding that stretch around to the left. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands around to the right. Coming around as far as you can until you get that nice stretch down the side of the body. Holding for five, four, three, two and one, walking the hands back through center. We're gonna lift up onto our hands and knees into some happy cat, angry cat, dropping that tummy down, stretching out the abs as you look up to the ceiling, round the spine, look through to your knees, drop the tummy down, look up, round the spine, look through to your knees. For five, Really push that up, back up to the ceiling for four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands around to the right now. Let's continue happy cat, angry cat. So the hands find about one, two o'clock. Drop that tummy down, look up, round the spine through to your knees. Dropping the tummy down, looking up. Round the spine, look through to your knees. 
as you really push that upper back up to the ceiling. For four, three, two, last ones, each way, come back to your neutral spine, walk the hands around to the left, find about 10 and 11 o'clock with the hands, happy cat, angry cat again. So really push that up and back, up to the ceiling. Four, four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands back through centre. We're going to lift into pike, tuck the toes, pike, drop the right knee down, and before we drop down into our preferred pigeon, leave the hands or the fingertips pushed into the mat, looking up to the ceiling. We'll just hold here for 20 seconds. And another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Dropping down into your preferred pose for 20 seconds. Each breath out, we're just sinking that little bit deeper into the hips. Holding for another 10, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Push the hands into the mat, tuck the back toes, we pike, swap legs, drop the other knee down, drop the back knee, push those fingertips or hands in to the mat as you look up to the ceiling, holding for 20. And 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Dropping down into your preferred pose for 20 seconds. Holding for another 10. And 5, 4, 3, Two and one, push the hands into the mat, tuck your back toes, pike, walk the hands back to the feet, reset the spine nice and slow, lifting those arms up and overhead and butterfly them back down by your side, giving those shoulders a nice little roll out and we're all done.